slash VC, and this is Vulture for Net App. And welcome back to my series. Uh, well, I don't have a name for it. I guess I do. Poseidon's Priestess. The story of Elvira the Adept. Experience level 8 on dungeon level 5. A chaotic elven female priest whose god happens to be Poseidon. I think Poseidon's awesome. I was pretty excited when I got the chance to be Poseidon's Adept. 58 maximum hit points, 113 particles of power, 17 wisdom, unfortunately. I wish it was 20. Um, when we left off in the last episode, I was not exactly struggling for my life. Oop. My music is going to feed back. Let me address that. There we go. Not exactly fending for my life. Ooh, but that human zombie hits kind of hard. Alright, I want to... Uh, that's still too loud. Sorry, everybody. I really should get more prepared before I start recording. There we go. Um, I'm going to dig behind this trap. There we go. And step behind it for a second. Because there for a minute, I felt like I was getting ganged up on. There was a coyote, and there was the zombie. There's another zombie. What is with all you zombies? Let's see if we can step. Yeah. Here, let's teleport that Gaspor. There you go. Goodbye, Gaspor. We are employing all the tricks of the trade. Here comes a mummy. Well, in order to try to keep this priest going. It hasn't been terribly difficult. It's been pretty normal so far, I guess. <laughs> That's where the Gaspor went. Uh, just headed down to Mine Town, like Jim Morrison said, when she goes down, down to Mine Town. Now, he was singing about Tansy Town. I'm not sure where that is. Okay, there's the staircase. I think I'm going to go down before I get into trouble. Of course, I fall down the stairs because I'm burdened, but on the upside, I've been exercising my strength. I could probably start spellcasting now. I've got three food rations. Um, I want to practice my divination spells. But, first of all, I've got a really high fail rate. And I'm not sure that failing to zap the spell will exercise that skill. I don't know. It would be a good thing to look up on the wiki, probably. Uh oh. <coughs> oh, pardon me. We've got another shield. That one's way too heavy for me to wear. Got some boots to check out. Still looking for that helmet that's going to be a plus five helmet or something. We'll try that stuff out. Walking around burdened has so far not gotten me into trouble. Does slow you down by a point, but okay, the shoes I'm wearing are blessed. They give me two points. These are also blessed, and they give me two points. There's really no difference between the shoes. And we can try the helmet. Oh, a gush of water. You finish taking off your helmet, a gush of water hits the gnome on the head, and he shoots a crossbow ball. There's a bunch of things going on all at one time. Hard hat's given me two points of protection. This hard hat, two points of protection. I'm sorry. I normally don't try on armor sets like this. For one thing, it's a little time consuming when you want to play a little more quickly. There's another experience level, thank you. Uh. But what's the point in playing a priest if you're not going to take advantage of the blessed curse status? You know, that you know what's blessed and cursed. Got a blessed hard hat here. We'll definitely try that out. And a scroll. Thank you for that. Hungry already. We'll just eat till the gnome gets here. What do we got here? Cobbled Lord. Hmm? Scary proposition. I really don't want to get pincered. I did anyway. Let's step off. Oh, nice. Fortunately, I was wearing a helmet. Let's see if we can just do a little dance here. 
and um, I'd like to get back into this hallway just as a precaution. It's all fun and games until you get trapped and then you need to get out. Alright, sayonara to him. Cobbled Lord picked up a better weapon. Hope it's not over enchanted. It's doing some damage. But he goes down. Not too bad. Uh, what was that bless that I picked up again? The blessed hard hat? Yeah. Let's try on the hard hat now. It's giving me two points of protection, and the blessed one is giving me three. Alright. So, here's what we've gotten so far, you know, out of the priest's ability to know what's blessed or cursed. I'm trying to think of the term for that. I think it's identifying the item's beatitude, or the item... I think it's the item's beatitude, yeah. We're gonna start using that word, because it's a much better term. Okay, I think I can force this lock with my mace. Yeah. What we've gotten out of it is my AC was something like 7. And without having to drag any items to the altar to have a look at them, I've managed... Oh! You trigger a trap, but the electric charge is grounded. Managed to get my AC down from 7 to negative 3. There's a good reason to play a priest for you. This attitude brought to you by priests. Uh, that's an uncursed amulet and an unknown spellbook. Very cool. I'm going to try on the amulet. Mm, I'm not seeing any effects from that. It's interesting. Could be a lot of things. I would like to try to read the spell book. Um, I know it would be better if it was blessed. So we may bless it first. Uh, I don't know how important that is. I mean, as long as it's not cursed, right? But what if it's like a level 1 divination spell and I wait to find that out? That would be awful. Let's read it. Let's just read it. See what happens. Dang it. Should have blessed it. It wrenched me. Oh well. Uh, Barrow White? I hope that that's not the kind that mm, steals your levels. What the hell? You hit the Barrow White. The Barrow White zaps a long wand. The bolt of lightning hits you. You are blinded by the flash, the bolt bounces, you hear a zap, the lightning hits you, the bolt whizzes by you. <laughs> oh, this is too good. I'm blind, burdened, and up against a Barrow White with a wand of lightning. Well, this could be a game ender. I have no that I know of immediate ways to escape this situation either. Oh, hey, the spellbook teleported me. But it didn't go away. I wonder if it would teleport me again. Does it do it in one turn? These are my questions. I really can't engrave Elbereth while I'm blind. I can't dig down in one turn with a pickaxe. I don't know if any of these are teleport. I have no real way out of this situation. Oh, I can't read that while I'm blind. What am I thinking? Oh, no. I feel doomed. <laughs> A wand of lightning wielding Barrow White. On dungeon level 6. Alright. I'm going to step off. I'm going to step off one here. I don't have Boots of Quiet walking, but... Alright, now I'm going to assume the Barrow White was here if the Barrow White advanced on me to that spot. See, there's no way for me to fix this situation in here, like to get away from the Wand of Lightning, because everywhere I go, this Lightning Bolt can bounce. Let's, um... Step into this corner, I guess. 
and let's apply the stethoscope because I can do that without using a turn. Now, I think the barrel line stepped to my left here. I'm going to try praying. Okay, that gave me... Alright, whatever's to my left is biting me. Uh, I wonder if it would be worth my time to get unburdened. Let's do that. That's going to give me, like, that's going to increase my speed. So let's drop everything heavy. I don't want those to boil. Or will they boil? They won't boil. My amulet could explode or whatever, but... Uh, the other heavy thing is the pickaxe, and the gold is relatively heavy. The amulet, too. I wish I could take it off. Now I can drop that extra... <laughs> Excuse me, and the food rations. Alright, that unburdened me. Whatever this is, that wasn't the barrel white. Um, do a search. Oh, it was! Or was it? Man, drop the knife here. Which I associate with the barrel white, although I know the barrel white was wielding a longsword, but step over and see what's here. Yep, that was the barrel white. I cannot believe I survived that. Uh, amazing. I don't need the knife. Well, now the knife for pudding farming could be useful. Let's pick it up. And I definitely want the wand of lightning, although I'm going to guess it was out of charges because he quit zapping that at me. Uh... I'm just going to stand on my stash until my sight comes back, I think. Oh, Poseidon, you are the greatest. You saved my life there. I had like five hit points left. Uh, uh. It was hidden under a longsword and it bites. Okay, it's dead. You hear rumbling in the distance. Alright, that, in that case, would be a boulder trap, I'm going to presume. Ah, the fun of NetHack. Standing in a corner, completely blind for an unknown number of turns. You know, what we could do is we could use the knife to engrave Elbereth here. So I'm thinking I'm only going to use the knife to split puddings. I doubt I'm going to take that very seriously, but... Oh no, I'm blind. Why would I try to engrave Elbereth when I'm blind? That makes no sense. I mean, it might to a professional NetHacker. Uh, who says, well, actually, you can do that. But, to me, at this time, I don't think that that makes a lot of sense. You're blind. Don't try to engrave. Okay. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Elvira, you have proved your mettle this day. Alright, I'm going to carry Sting around for a little while. Hold on to these books till I get to where I'm going. Burdened again. No worries. And if I can survive an attack like that, maybe I can handle all that awaits me down here. Although, you gotta admit, that was a really close call. Ah, oh, there's the up staircase. Ooh boy. Tempted to flee before my die. Nah, the next level's got to be mine down. So, would you know it? There's a brown pudding there. Is that what you split? It's brown puddings, right? Yeah. For your pudding farms. <laughs> we need to. We need to dull this knife. Um, let's step over here and dull the knife. So from right here, if we engrave with the knife. You are able to write Elberet. You cannot write anymore because the knife gets dull, I guess. So now it's a dull knife. But I should be able to finish engraving, right? Engrave. With the knife. You cannot wipe out the message. It is engraved in the floor. 
The knife is too dull for engraving. Okay, so we've dulled it. Um, if it was to get thoroughly rusty, I suppose it would do even less damage. Uh, I don't have any way to rust it right now, so we'll just come down here and wield it for a minute. Oh, no. Not an ogre. Back to the mace. Let's see. Ooh, wow, that ogre hits. He's got a broad short sword. So, naturally, he hits really hard. I'm going to try one more hit. Okay, so he missed me that time. And I hit him. Okay, he missed me again, thanks to my low AC. I got a hit in. Oh, yeah. I killed him. Great. Alright, now I'm going to wield the knife. Let's see if I can split this pudding. Oh! What? Another ogre? And a dog. It's getting serious now. I tell you, this has been one harrowing journey to the mines. Let's go up and heal for a minute. Get the mace back out. Oh, what do we got here? Horse. We could use a horse. I shouldn't have left my horse in the levels above, I guess. Could go back and get him. This horse could be tamed with a clove of garlic or a sprig of wolfsbane. I think I'll throw in the garlic. There you go. Good to have a pet horse. I'd like to get rid of that gas pour, but it's really not on my to-do list. I have how much food on me? Two rations. So I'll be able to tame the dog as well. Uh, I'm going to heal up and then I'll bring this horse down there. Aha! I don't want to get blind. This is a bad time to get blind. Uh, let's, I guess, go down and engrave Elbereth and hope for the best. Go down. Although, from where I'm standing now, I have a chance to send the horse into, ba <clears throat> into battle. By stepping on him, I should switch places with him. So let's, uh, I hate to leave the staircase, but let's do it. That'll put the horse into battle, and then I've got this dog. We'll tame him. And there we go. That brown pudding is on the attack. I think he can actually maybe rot my cloth. Whatever cloth I might have on. I'm not sure about that. Seems right. Uh, I don't want to listen to that dog bark, so let's give him a name. What goes along with uh, Elvira and Poseidon and Dark Priestesses and whatnot? I need a good. Uh, what's an Egyptian dog name? Is there one? There must be. Is it Bast? I think so. There we go. Um, so the question of to whether to farm on this pudding. I think has been answered in the negative. This is too dangerous of a place. I need to find a nice sink next to a nice closet to attempt that, but I've got the knife for that occasion. Let's see... If I kill the pudding... Like, he's blocking the way right now. I like that. As far as the ogre is concerned, the pudding is basically keeping the ogre at bay. But, if... Let's just kill the pudding. Yeah, well, I did split that pudding, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I guess when the dog bit the pudding, it multiplied. Well, here comes the ogre, so let's switch places with the dog. 
and attack the ogre, and I'll join the battle here. Let's get away from the pudding for it. Okay, come on, pets, work with me. All right, it's Elberath time. Okay, that definitely did get him to start to flee. Let's eliminate the pudding from the equation. Grave Elbereth again. Oh, nice. Yeah, so the crossbow is now welded to the ogre's hand, so that's a positive. But he's going to shoot me at a distance with it. That's not positive. Um, I think we need to get back to the staircase if possible. Yeah. Now I'm going to leave my dog down here, or not. Is he eating? If he's eating, I can go up. Let's go up. And it looks like get blinded again. Oh, no. Now an ant. Huh. Well, we're getting close to that danger point again. I think it would behoove me to Elbereth over here. Yeah. And there we go. All right, I'm gonna wrap this episode up right here. Uh, it's gonna be interesting getting to Mine Town at this rate. On this level, I've got the ant and the gas spore and the light, and it looks like I'm going to get blinded again, and when I go down, I've got to face the ogre again. But we're going to do it. We're going to get past all of these difficulties, reach mine town. I'm going to find, I know what I'm going to find. I'm going to find a blindfold. I'm going to find food rations, another spell book. Um, I'm going to bless the spell book I've got, see if it's a divination spell. And I'm going to find a touchstone, and everything's going to go swimmingly. So, huh, hopefully. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Come back and see me for the next episode if you get a chance. And uh, leave me a comment. I like to read my comments. It's really great to hear back from the uh, NetHack community on any of the videos that I make. So, consider leaving me a comment about this, whatever. Catch you next time.